Yo, what's up guys? DJ Rick Webb, back at it again. Anyways, you know what like a lot of you guys forget about when you become a mobile DJ or if you're trying to become a mobile DJ, you know what the number one thing that most of you guys just completely forget about? When you're a mobile DJ, you're also running a business. You know, I tend to get asked the question if I actually use Vibo and HoneyBook's another one, but if I actually use these softwares, and yes, 100%, my business runs 100% on both HoneyBook and Vibo. So that's why we're gonna be talking about Vibo, and I can tell you guys from experience that right now on the market at this point in time, this is the number one DJ event planning software out there. Notice I said planning. I wanna kind of set some expectations for you guys before I dive into Vibo. I've spoke about Vibo before, but uh, a lot of you guys kinda of didn't get the gist of what Vibo is. So let me, let me tell you guys what it is and what it is not. First off, Vibo is not a CRM. It is not a client relations manager. It is not a messaging software between you and your client. It is not payroll. It is not management if you're a multi-op of all your DJs. It's just not a business management software. Vibo Vibo is an event planning software and specifically it works really really well for weddings. So to give you guys a quick picture of what Vibo is, take your your PDFs, your your planning forms, your questionnaires, your timelines you send to clients, that big annoying book that you send to your clients that has all your planning information and waste of tons of tons of trees. Take that, take the Spotify request list that they send you, take your music library, take your request list that you send clients for different types of songs, take all of that and cram it down to an app on your phone that is super intuitive and really easy to use for your clients. That is what Vibo is. Oh, and as a bonus, it also helps you create all your crates for your events, makes your life a thousand times easier, and it's gonna let you book a lot more weddings. Let's jump into the app, and then I'm gonna show you guys on the computer what the dashboard looks like. All right, guys, this is the app. Let's open it up real quick. The app is the main place that you will probably be looking at it, and it is the only place that your clients look at. So your client is gonna have this app on their phone, Android, Apple, it's supported on both, don't worry about that. Only difference is they're not gonna obviously have the the options that you have under this to be able to create stuff, but they are also not gonna see all of the weddings. They're only going to see their weddings. So they will not see like right here, I have all the weddings coming up even into 2020 and stuff like that. They're just gonna see their wedding. I'm gonna take you guys through one of the wedding ones as quick as I possibly can and show you guys all the features that they're gonna see and that they have at their disposal. So let's click on Jennifer's wedding because she took really like full advantage of this app. First off, they have a planning form here on the left. You can click on that, it'll open up the planning form. I will show you guys how you can customize the planning form to make it your personal planning form for your company on the dashboard on the computer. But if we open it up real quick, you'll see it'll have my little FSL logo at the top. It has all the descriptions and stuff and just, a, it's a basic planning form that we created for their wedding. Now I have a different planning form for say just a reception or if it's a ceremony and reception wedding. We'll talk about that in a bit. You'll also see below it the location of the wedding as well as a navigate button. So you can click on that and open up in maps. So when you're going to your wedding, you can quickly go on there and you know where the venue's at. So it's nice and quick and easy. There's also, uh, it shows you what DJ it is. If you're a multi-op, you can select different DJs. I'll show you that on the dashboard. But you click it, you can customize this whole entire page. It has a little bit about, as well as some links to website, Facebook, and phone. Uh, just ways to get in touch with their DJ. So if they forget my contact info, it's already on the app. Makes it super quick and easy. At the bottom there, it shows who all has joined the, the app. So your client can both invite hosts and guests. Hosts have full access basically to change anything similar to how you will. Uh, it's basically meant for the bride, the groom, or the groom, the groom, the bride, the bride, their parents maybe, or the wedding planner. It's meant for those people that need to have access and change everything. They can also invite their guests, so it has a link. They click that invite guest. It'll give them a link. It'll give them a way to share it on Facebook, Twitter, all those awesome options so that their guests can come onto the app. They can download the app as well and provide song requests for open dancing. Also, the bride and groom can click the edit event button 
and they can right, well right here you can see the host as well as they can change that event photo and they can change some of the options as well. Now, let's go into the main area of the app and that is the music portion or as I like to call it, the timeline portion. So this is the complete timeline for your wedding and this will print off into a clean PDF. I'll show you that on the dashboard as well. The colors of the blocks do symbolize something. So a blue block is a multi-song block, a green block is a single song block, and a gray one is just an activity. So each block, it'll tell you the title. You can edit all this as well. You can get a title. There's a little notes icon and a time icon. So as you can see right there, it, the first option is six o'clock. If I click the time button, we can edit that time as well. Each block, you have a custom title. You can set a time for that block, as well as you can click the notes icon, like right here, and you can leave notes for that particular section, such as like wedding party introductions. You can have your list right here for the wedding party introduction. The buttons at the top here, edit. This allows you to edit all the options. So if I click settings here, I can change the name. I can make it private if I want to. And then reorder allows you to reorder all of the uh, milestone events, shuffle it. But this is the interface that your clients are gonna be using, this app right here. It's super clean, it's super easy. It makes life a thousand times easier for my clients. They love it. I got tons and tons of compliments on the app. They, they just love the app. And I've actually booked a few weddings just because we have the app and not some sort of generic planning form like my competitors do. So now let's jump onto the desktop to show you guys all the customizations that you can do as the business owner to make this app personal to you. And I highly recommend, guys, if you get Vibo, don't call it Vibo call it your personal planning app. Like I call it the Fusion Sound and Lighting wedding planning app. Cause literally it's your personal app for your clients. So it's your app. All right, to the dashboard. All right guys, this right here is the dashboard that you guys get to use. And this is where honestly I spend more of my time. First off, you got the events. This is the list of all the events similar to the app. Gives you the number of people joining songs, etc. Templates. Templates, let's go to templates. This is where you get to make all your customizations. So on the template window right here, um, I have all of my templates right here. So I have some different ones for weddings and some different ones for some LGBT weddings as well so that they take out the words like bride, groom and make it more uniform for an LGBT wedding. Highly recommend that if you guys don't already have those in your forms incorporated. So like I said, I got one for reception only and one for reception and ceremony. But let's say you want to create a new one. So you create a new template right here. Click that button. First off, you can create a blank template or you can select from the presets. As you can see, Vibe already has some presets for a wedding without planner, mitzvah, mitzvah. Yeah, you see wedding UK. There's a different one for that. Wedding Australia, wedding plus planning volume one, wedding plus planning number two. So say you click wedding plus planning number two, you can name the form Vibo planning and click create. All right, so when you're creating a template, you're creating the whole entire app template. Everything from the cover picture that the client can change. I highly recommend the clients change it to a picture of them. It's what I tell them to do, but sometimes they don't. But you can customize this picture right here. You can allow the host to invite other guests. You can take that privilege away. You can also limit their number of song selections. I leave it unlocked and you can also lock um, the event so that they can't make any changes to the planning form. Say like seven days before the event, you don't want them to make any more changes to the planning form. You can do that, you can lock it. I normally just leave it unlocked. Then you go to event sections. This is the timeline music portion of the app. You can go through and create all of the presets you want standard. So if you want all of this standard, say you want to have the ceremony first entrance, second entrance, you want to break it all down like that, prelude, then you get to select who has access to add and edit songs and stuff like that for that section. So obviously most of these are going to be hosts only because you only want the bride, the groom, and maybe the wedding planner to be able to access it. You only want the host. You don't want the guests to have access to it. You don't want them to change stuff. Stuff you do want the guests to have access to is stuff like dinner music selection. Maybe you want the guests to be able to access that. Now below that in each section, you will also see where it says choose recommendations. So this is where you get to set up all of the recommendations. So like I said, Vivo has a bunch of recommendation lists already created. So you can go through and check bark 
all of the options you want. So if this is the cake cutting block, I'm going to go in and I'm going to check cake cutting for all these. So this shows me right here on the right all of the recommendation list that I have. This does take some time to set this all up, but trust me, once you have it set up, you're good to go. And if you start with one of the templates Vibe already has, a lot of the recommendation lists that you are already going to use for that section are already in there, so it makes life a lot easier. But this is how you customize the initial template for that music timeline portion. Obviously, yes, you can go in and add more activities, more song lists throughout it to make the timeline exactly what you need. My initial timeline for my weddings doesn't have a lot of the activities already in it, like toasts, welcome speeches, uh, that's stuff that I go in and add later, shoe game, anniversary dance, all that stuff I go in and add after the fact inside of that event. So don't feel limited that you have to create absolutely everything in this template. You can leave it very bare bones or you can go all out with it. You can do what you want. Play around with it, it's really cool, it's really fun. And like I said, you can create a different template for just a wedding reception event or a wedding that has a reception and a ceremony. So after the event section is set up, you move on to the planning form itself. And this honestly guys is probably what takes the longest is setting up your planning form. But once you set it up, you're done. You never have to set it up again. All you have to do is go in and tweak it. But all of these different sections, you can move them around inside of the planning form. And on the right, it gives you all the different options that you can add into the planning form. You can add a header text column. You can add a description. This is a header. You can add a description below it. It says right here, header description. Then you can add in your questions. You can have a text answer. You can have checkbox answers. You can have options lists. You can have drop down lists. So you really can make a very custom planning form for your weddings. And like I said, with the event section, this does take some time to get your templates all set up. I'm not going to lie, it does take some time. But it's just like the original planning forms that you made for your company. They took a while to make initially, but after you made them once, you were just sending them out left and right to every client. You didn't have to do it again. Maybe you had to go in and tweak some spelling issues or something that you missed or some things changed in the market and you're no longer doing a dollar dance so you completely get rid of it on your planning form. and. Now you have a planning form about it. So once you create your templates, you're good to go. Next one down from templates is recommendations. This is where you guys can go in and edit the recommendation list that Vibo already has. So if you want to go in and edit it for your particular taste, you can do that. Or you can go in and add your own playlist as well. After that, there's my info. Obviously, most of my stuff is blurred out here, all my contact info. But uh, you basically go in, you can set your info page and you can change your logo pick, change your profile pick as well, and really make the app custom to you and your brand. Lastly, I'm gonna skip over account because that's just the count. Music scanner, this right here is probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest features that Vibe has on top of all the other stuff that it has available to you. You download this program onto your computer, Windows or Mac. You tell it where all of your music files are at. So basically, if you have all your music on your computer and it's under the music folder, you tell it it's under the music folder. It's gonna go through, it's gonna scan your whole entire library. This will take some time at first, but after it scans all of your library the first time, it's super quick the next time because it's only looking for new files after that. But what that's gonna let you do is something super, super cool. Let me show you. So if I click on Jennifer's wedding, so I'm inside of Jennifer's wedding real quick. And I'm gonna walk you guys through all the cool stuff that is inside of the wedding. This right here is an easier way to edit all of the options, the start times, the locations, the planning form link, all that fun stuff. This is the music timeline down below here. Uh, one quick thing to point out before I talk about the music portion is that the notes inside of the desktop app are a thousand times easier to edit because they give you options to do bold, italics, um, numbered list, and stuff like that. So for things like introductions, you can actually create a proper list and like set it up so that it looks very clean to be able to read. Versus on the app, all you can do is just type it out. You can't go in and do these formatting. So I uh, highly recommend if you're gonna make notes that are more than notes, just kind of like lists and stuff, do them on the dashboard. But other than that, all the options are the same inside of here. It makes it a little bit easier to move stuff around, add, add reorder sections, a little bit high level. But right here, locate files and export to Spotify. 
if I click locate files, right, it's going to bring up every single one of the individual items on the timeline that she put songs into. So right here we got dinner music, we have all the different options, cocktail music, open dancing music. So if I click that right here and I click locate files. So since I already downloaded that program and scanned my whole entire music library, Vibo is now going to use my music library and it's also going to use the songs that she selected. It's going to see what songs I have, which ones I don't, and it's going to generate the crate for the open dancing music for me. How cool is that? So here's the list. Right here, it's already gone through and found matches to pretty much every single song on here. And what I would do is I would click on the mark top matches so I could go in and make sure it has the correct matches that I want. If I want multiple songs, so say I have like three or four different versions of Get Low by Lil Jon, it'll show all those versions there and I can select like the clean version, the remix version. I can select multiple ones to put into this playlist. All I would do then is click create playlist and I will be able to import that playlist into Virtual DJ, Serato, iTunes, it's awesome. I'm not gonna go through that right now, but you'll click Generate Playlist, and you'll be able to import that playlist file into both iTunes, Serato, Virtual DJ, maybe I'll make a complete video on that, but trust me right now, this saves you alone one to two hours for every single wedding, trying to create crates for all of your different weddings. It's awesome. Also, if you're a Spotify person, similar to the locating files, you can export any of these lists or multiple of these lists to Spotify. So if you wanna run cocktail music on Spotify, I don't know why you would wanna do that, but if you wanna do that, you can. Also, a little pro tip for you, you could export their open dancing playlist to Spotify and share it with them after the wedding. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's quickly go through uh, all the options inside of each one of these events. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about who and what Vibo is for. So, contact tab right here, this is where you can get a host invitation link. Basically, you can either share it from the app itself, you can click add host when you went into edit. Contact, this is where you add in the different contacts for the wedding. Obviously, I have none in here because all I do is I use this link right here. I share this host invitation link right here with my bride and groom, they click on that link and it takes them directly to the app store to download the app. And when they open up the app, it loads right into their wedding. So you're not telling your clients to go in the app store or search for Vibo. You're gonna send them a link and they're gonna use that link to download the app. That way they go directly into their wedding. In the advanced section right here, this is where you can tweak some of those presets you had in the template, such as allow host to invite other guests, limit the number of songs and lock the event out. And if you're a multi-op owner, this right here is where you can select the specific DJ that is going to be assigned to this wedding. Lastly, another one of my top, top features on Vibo that I love, I've shown it to you guys in multiple gig logs, and that is generating this into a PDF. Obviously, the app is super intuitive and super easy to use to make all your planning choices, but day of, I'm not going into the app and looking through each section. I might glance at it here and there, or I have no phone signal, so I'm not using the app at all. What I do is I click this download PDF button right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate all of this, the timeline, all of my notes, all of the songs into a super clean PDF. I can't stress. I am amazed at how clean they made this PDF. This right here is what you're looking at for the PDF and just seriously comment down below But this is super clean. You got all of your info at the top for the wedding the date the location the time You get into the timeline portion below and it lists out the times on the left the event name the song info So as you see right here if it's a single song item, it's gonna list the song right there but if it's a multi-song item, it's just gonna give you the number, but it's gonna give you the list down below. So if we scroll down to my introduction notes, they are right here on the right, makes it very clean and very easy to read because I edited the notes on the dashboard, so that way they have the underlining, the bolding, so it's super clean and easy to read. So if I scroll down past the timeline portion, this is where those song lists were that I told you. So here are all the prelude songs listed out in case I don't have them or I want to reference them. But here's all the cocktail songs. It also will generate the notes. So right here are the parent introduction notes. Here's the song that follows it below. 
Here's the wedding party introduction notes as well as the two songs for the wedding party introduction right below. It's just another point of where you can reference stuff. And I will say the cool part about that is one, it's super quick and easy to generate that PDF and two, you can share that PDF with the photographer, the venue, all kinds of other stuff. You can print them out and have copies. but. I find that this is a super compact form factor and obviously for people like the photographer and the videographer and the caterers and the venue, you don't have to print out the whole entire form. Just those two or three pages of the timeline is all you need. The extra stuff, you don't necessarily have to print that out if you don't need it. I print out at least one copy so I have all of the songs listed out as well. And you can also take that PDF form and do what I do and that is put it up on Google Drive. That way I can have it on all of my devices. I have it saved to that device so I can view it in offline mode, view it on my iPad, view it on my phone, view it on my computers. But yeah guys, that is basically the final piece of the Vibo video, the planning printed out PDF, which is super awesome. And that's it guys, that is Vibo, in my opinion, is literally the best planning app software solution that is out there right now. Yes, there are competitors out there, but how long have they been around? N not long. Vibo has been out for well over, actually I'm pretty sure it's like in year two or three now. It's been out for a while. I've been using it for almost a year now. It is rock solid. It works. It's been proven. A lot of you guys are already on it. It's dope. With that said, Vibo is not for everyone. And what I mean by Vibo is not meant for everyone. Vibo is a premium app. It is a premium service. It has a little bit of a premium price tag to it to have Vibo. But having Vibo is going to set you apart from all of your competition. And in having Vibo, you are gonna be able to book more weddings and have an edge up on your competition if you implement Vibo into your sales and marketing strategies. What I mean by that is actually showing that you have this very clean, easy to use, intuitive app for your clients to plan out their wedding. And it has all the music features. It's just something that when brides and grooms see it in person, they're like, this is so awesome, I'm booking you guys. That's why at wedding shows, I have this app open 24 seven on my phone. I'm showing every single bride and groom that I talk to the app because I want them to know that I have this super awesome planning form app and that most of them really have never had a wedding so they don't know the experience. So for me showing them that I have this app, they're gonna ask all the other DJs, what do you have for planning? And then they're gonna what? Show them a planning form, show them a website login. This is in their pocket, it's super easy, it's super clean. That is why I love Vibo and that is why I think it's the number one planning app out there because it sets you apart from your competition. But anyways guys, being a mobile DJ is also running a business so that is why I'm bringing you guys videos on DJ business and talking about my planning software. We'll jump in, talk more about HoneyBook and just overall talk about marketing strategies, all that fun stuff. But also if you guys want more business educational content, you need to get out to a DJ convention. I'm going to be speaking specifically at the DJ and TV convention in Las Vegas coming up in February, but I'm going to be speaking on millennial marketing. So if you guys want more info on marketing, sales, guys, this show is stacked. Link to where you can check out all the details on that event as well as my promo code to save you guys some money on your tickets to that show uh, is in the description down below as well as links to check out Vibo. As always, check it out. I'll also throw down there my HoneyBook link. Um, you guys know I use HoneyBook. We'll jump at the HoneyBook in some other videos. But anyways, guys, this was a pretty lengthy video talking about Vibo and talking about planning. If anything, I hope this video got you thinking in terms of the things you need to provide provide in terms of a business for planning with your clients. Again guys, being a mobile DJ is also a business, so you got to know your shit when it comes to business as well as you got to be a kick-ass mobile DJ. Anyways guys, signing out as always. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them record spinning guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Vibo is awesome as always.